Again, Duke utilizing the full time it takes to reinsert a player in the lineup, and that will be Horvath. Yes, and Ewing is going to go back in the ball game, probably for Dockery to get some offensive thrust out there. So you've got three. You actually have four perimeter shooters, counting Dang as well. Dang's going to have rebounding responsibilities as well. So it'll probably be Horvath on Okafor. If Duke decides to play man-to-man, -man, they may even go zone for a while. This will be a one-on-one -on -one for Okafor. He already hit two just minutes ago. And struggles at the line most of the time. Both teams have missed nine free throws. Make it ten on the UConn side. Just a 51% free throw shooter. As I said, those statistical averages will eventually balance out. Spread out now is Duke playing everybody above the foul line. Looking for some backdoor cuts. Extending this defense. Dang, three-point wow. shot. Not the shot you want in that offensive set. Give Tariq Brown credit. He boxed out way outside on Ewing to get that board. This is a big one. Anderson rattles it home. That was not the shot you wanted the freshman to take if you're Duke. Let him put the ball on the floor and beat Boone, but don't try to shoot over him from that distance. A miss at one end, then a make at the other to bring it to five. 2.24 remaining. UConn came back from 11 down to win the Big East final against Pitt. Their margin here, largest margin tonight, 11 as well. Ewing steps back to back to the got to question both of those shots. Numbers for Connecticut. Gordon looks behind, spins, and it's like Ewing on a reach in. Mike nope, Mike be on deck. Jim, Mike Krzyzewski cannot believe that his guys are taking shots with seconds to go on the shot clock. And particularly taking shots out there when they can penetrate. It's on Duhon Billy. That's his third. It's double bonus the rest of the way on each side. And Gordon has four fouls, right? So Gordon has four. Absolutely. So if you're Duke, what you want to do is to have the ball in Duhon's hand and let him penetrate on Gordon, who can't afford to foul him. Again, double bonus. And he's six out of seven. He's, uh, like as you pointed out, the only one that you can depend on consistently. Villanueva seeing little action in the second half. Surprisingly, after an outstanding first half, he had eight points, he had five rebounds, he had no turnovers, but he has been on that bench most of the time since. 75-72. That's five unanswered for the Huskies. Two I, minutes to go. I think Duhon should keep that ball alive and make Gordon stop his dribble. Gordon has four fouls on him, remember. Ewing fights through, and that ball looked like it was kicked. No call. 13 on the shot clock. And a defensive play. Oak the curve with 10 on the shot clock. Here goes Duhon. Drives in. Boone has a hand on it. He calls the timeout. That's the last one for the Huskies. But they have possession down three. Just scratching and clawing the way back. We'll be right back. Huskies again operate the rest of the way without a timeout. Billy, what do you see coming up? Well, I really see if you're Connecticut, get the ball to Okafer. Get Anderson out on the wing, Gordon out at the top of the key. Get the ball into Okafer first, see if Duke will collapse. If they do, kick out looking for the three. If not, back out to Gordon, let him penetrate. But Okafer should definitely touch this ball on this sequence. He's got Horvath on him. And Duke looks like they're going to match up man to man. Get the ball in to Gordon with 1.30 remaining. Drives the right side, Gordon. Dumps it inside to the man you asked for. Okafor, turnaround shot, got it. Back to one. One point game. Excellent play by Connecticut. Now, if you're Duhon, you got to force Gordon, who's the guy that you know Connecticut's going to want to start their offense with. you got to force Gordon to guard you if you're Duhon. One minute remaining up one. Duke has not hit a field goal in almost four minutes. Who will take this huge shot? You see, they don't want to go into Horbach. Dang. Over.
over the top of the backboard. UConn ball. With Williams on the bench, they can't go to Horvath. And you can see Okafor can take him any time. Go right back to him again if you're Connecticut. UConn has not led since the 11-minute mark in the first half. And trailed by as many as 11. They've scored the last seven points. Brown on the drive. Give up Okafor. Shot for the lead. And rattles out. Took the round by Boone. Back to Okafor. Duke has one timeout. Will they take it here? Yes. How about Josh Brown again making the play to keep it alive again? Okafor the second chance, and UConn the lead. Duke led with three and a half to go, 75-67. UConn with nine unanswered. The tip by Boone over to Okafor for the lead. Now, no timeouts on either side. What are you looking for? Jim, what I would think Duke would do, get the ball in Duhon's hands, make Gordon guard him, keep it away from Talik Brown. And Gordon with four fouls on him. See if he can stop the penetration by Duhon. To the corner to Reddick with 15. In the paint, lost control. Loose ball picked up by Anderson. And a foul on Duke. Mike Krzyzewski wanting the foul. He better be careful over there. You don't want a technical here. He wanted a foul call there. And Okafer waving his arms. That was the fourth on Horvath. Again, I thought that Duan should have kept the ball in his hands. He's much better penetrating inside. Let Reddick be the man outside for the kick out. Anderson goes to the foul line. With 11 seconds to go, again, double bonus. He'll shoot two. 77% free throw shoot. And three for three tonight. Who's coming in the first half? This dictates what Duke does if he makes this shot. They must go for three. That will be the case. 11 seconds. They have no timeouts. Needing the three to tie. Reddick is the man to shoot it. He fires it short. Rebound UConn with three seconds to go. Well, he got a decent look, had to alter the shot slightly, and you see how he moved and glided off to the left. And when he did that, Mike Krzyzewski upset. Calhoun feels that he has really dodged one in this game. He's dodging something over there. Look at all those moves. Okafer realizing as he sat on that bench in the first half that his dream of getting in the championship game was fading away. But I thought that Duke's shot selection coming down, Jim, taking outside jumpers when they were so effective with dribble penetration really came back to hurt him. UConn has scored the last 11 points of this game and shut down Duke without a basket for the last 440. Well, you had no inside game, Jim. Williams had fouled out. Shadlick Randolph had fouled out. And Mecca is smiling. He knows one will seal it. He's got two tries. Uh-oh. 3.2 seconds. Plenty of time on a pass to half court. Remember, no timeout, so you can't get it up to half court and start your play. So they'll have to go the length of the floor, even on a made shot. Reddick starts to walk toward midcourt. He makes this one. Ball game. What a comeback. Duhon, his career will end right here. That's the count. It doesn't matter. UConn is going to the championship game. 